Asking for beans. Ask your grocers, please. Ask some veggies. Hey there, I'm the Cool, got it. Oh, going solo. Cool. All right, type in your name. 45 seconds. All right, buddy, hit the number. 30 seconds. Okay, your buzzer's gonna be the letter B. Three, two, one, go! Okie doke, let's go! Hey there! How's it going? My name's Bob, and if you have any questions at all, hey, please feel free to keep them to yourself. Anyway, here, my friend, is the dealio. A question comes up, you buzz in, then you hit a one, two, three, or four to pick your answer. Pretty darn easy, ain't it? Okay, uh, did everyone make? Great, let's go. Yeah. Ah, uh, this one is your butt crack. It's me up. How does $20,000 sound? Wipe off that finger, because here we go. If you demonstrate the phases of the moon by mooning someone, what will be the best way to show a waxing moon? Pull your pants completely off, keep your pants on, slowly pull your pants off, or slowly pull your pants... Pulling them on? No, 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 that's a waning moon, which is better than mooning Wayne. Wait, who's Wayne? Oh, forget it. The correct answer is... When the moon is waxing, you can see more and more of its surface as it becomes a full moon. And I've seen your moon. You could use a good waxing. I well, what do we have here? It's small, but the rent's cheap. This one can get you ten grand. Okay, now say you tell your sweetie pie or your honey bunch or your love pig, or whatever, that he or she lives in your heart. Aww. Imagine that your significant other actually lives inside your heart, based on the number of... <laughs> the human heart has four chambers, two atria and two ventricles. <laughs> and whatever you do, don't let them pound holes in the walls. <laughs> Category, please. Whoa, someone just got themselves a dis or dad. And this Dis or Dad Questions category is... How Santa keeps his North Pole so clean. Okay, I'm gonna list seven names here, and for each one, I want you to tell me if... It's the name of one of Santa's reindeer, the name of a household cleanser, or both. If the name belongs to one of Santa's reindeer, press one. If it belongs to a household cleanser, press two. Press three if it's both. And press four if you want to skip. You get 5,000 for each right answer, and you lose 5,000 for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. Alrighty, bring out the monkey. Let's boogie. Ajax, race. Blitzen. Dasher. Comet. Clorox. Windex. This is it. Fantastic. That's all she wrote. Missed three, but you got four. whoop de doo All right, let's check your score. And uh, there you go. Enjoy it, and uh, let's move on. Okay, I need a category. This category is known as, that's kind of purdy. And it's worth 20,000 bucks if you get this one right. Hey, check it out. I got one of those magic eye picture books for my birthday. It's so great, man. It's got all these scribbly paintings, you know, and if you stare at them long enough, a 3D image pops right off the page. Here, watch. Let me relax my eyes a little bit. Pull the book back slower. Yes, I think I got it. What three-dimensional magic eye image am I looking at right now? Coyotes howling. That's right, I can't see a damn thing. All I know is I'm getting a headache and my eyes are tearing up and I... Oh, wait a minute, there it is! It's a unicorn. Oh, oh that's kind of cool. Ah. Say hello to songs that make you go... You get this one right, it's worth 30,000 greenbacks. Heads up, here it comes. Which of the following song titles is an example of peristalsis? Breathe by Prodigy, Loser by Beck, Swallow by Bush, or Crazy by Seal? 
Peristalsis is the muscular contraction that forces food down your throat when you swallow. And Bush is the kind of band that makes your food come right back up. Ooh, excuse me. Category, please. Uh-oh, looks like we're in for a special visit from our good friend, Milan the Janitor. Just talking with Milan. The category is, I'm not your chew toy. Get it right, I'm handing over 20K. How you doing, Bob? Oh, not bad. Uh, hey, did I see you hitting on the new temp the other day? Bite me, Bob. Ouch, okay, I hit a nerve. Uh, why don't we get to your grammar question for today? Yes, why don't we? Loser. Which of these is an imperative sentence? Bite me, Bob. Milan said, I told Bob to bite me. Bob was told to bite Milan. Or would Bob... Bite me is a command which makes it an imperative sentence. I tell you, Milan, I love how you make all this grammar stuff so easy to understand. Bite me, Bob. I need a category. <laughs> Coming at you. I hoard it through the grapevine. $30,000 for this one. Flex those fingers, because here it comes. If the Horde Tour features members of the Mongol Horde, what will audiences see? Confucius drumming for the Black... Back in the 1200s, Genghis Khan and his murderous Mongol Horde swept out of Mongolia and conquered much of Asia and Europe. Yep, and I hear the best part of the show is when John Popper ruthlessly tears the heart out of a stage diver and eats it raw. Okay. May I introduce, blood is Alan thick or than water? 20,000 bucks for a correct answer. Hey, remember that show Growing Pains where the dad was a psychiatrist who worked at home? Whoa, that's a funny one. Anyway. Say Growing Pains dad, Jason Seaver, diagnoses his son Mike as having an Oedipal complex. What has Mike been doing? Sending love poems to his mom Maggie, staring at his sister Carol's feet, spreading gossip about his brother failing all his classes at school. Uh, I think someone's projecting here. Hey, let's take a look at the right answer. Oedipus was the guy who killed his father and fell in love with his mother. If you're a boy who's real close to his mother, I mean really close, they say you have an Oedipal complex. But hey, if my mom looked like Maggie Seaver, I might be tempted to marry her too. Eh, uh, no, that's pretty weird. Nah, I'd probably just date her for a while. Uh, This one's called Gross. 10,000 beanies if you get this one. Here's the pitch. If you had a gross of gross stuff, what would you have? 13 cups of pee, 144 sheets of used toilet. When you have a gross of something, you have a dozen dozen or 144. Well, maybe we should start recycling toilet paper. You know how many trees have to die so you can wipe your butt? Seven, I think. Okay, I need a category. <laughs> this baby is donating your body to science. And you pocket 20,000 clams if you get this one. A one, a two, a three. Imagine you do a science project where you have to demonstrate kinetic energy. Which of the following best shows kinetic energy? Picking your nose, suntanning your butt, thinking dirty thoughts, or holding... No, that would be potential energy. <laughs> and it'd be potentially stanky, too. <laughs> Bet you wish you would have picked this. <laughs> kinetic energy is the energy of moving things. So as you're digging your finger around in your nose, that's kinetic energy. And when you wipe your booger under your chair, that's sticky energy. <laughs> okay, pick a cat. Okay, we're gonna rejoin the game after this short commercial message. Mira, es el platano con el paraguas. Hasta luego, Paraguas! Oh, oh! King Kong está aquí! Y King Kong le gustan los plátanos! Pobre plátano! <laughs> it's time for the head rush! Don't you dare look away, because when you see two ones that match, you better buzz in! If I think you're right, I'm giving you 5,000 clammies, but if I think you're wrong, you owe me 5,000! Oh yes, and let's not forget... Remember the flow! You match, 
better fit this clue. Can you get behind this? Well, you better get behind your buzzer and start buzzing. Good luck. What can I say? Good job. And uh, get a social life, you know, throw a party or something, you know, write some letters. Hey, thanks for head rushing with me. I got to go. And cut. Okay, baby diva, what's going on? They going again or what? Gee, you got a higher score than nobody. If you think you can top that seat, let me know when you're ready to play. Just can't get enough, huh? I understand. Come on, put down the taco and make me a show. Let's go! Category, please. Pucker up for guys in rubber. 10,000 bucks riding on this one. Coming at you. What's the best Batman movie? Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, or... Mmm, I mean it was okay, but it wasn't the best. For the curious, uh, here's the right answer. <laughs> hey, the second Batman was definitely the best. Come on, Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman definitely made this the best one. I mean, she totally gave Batman a run for his money, unlike all those other wimpy female characters. And how can you argue with that whip? Wow. Okay, I need... Give it up for the sensitive side of Schwarzenegger movies. Looks like this one's going for 10,000 bucks. Okay, now you know how in that movie The Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger says, I'll be back. You know what that like funny accent that he uses? You know, I'm Arnold, I'm Arnold. Well, imagine that a new Schwarzenegger movie comes out where Arnold's big line is, I'll be back. Whoop. Johann Sebastian Bach was a famous German composer from the 1700s. And now, Symphony for a Machine Gun. I need a category. The category? Ho, ho, huh? 20,000 bucks says you don't know this one. Think fast. Imagine that instead of wishing you a Merry Christmas, someone wishes you a Merry Isthmus. What good tidings are they sending your way? An Isthmus is a narrow strip of land that connects two larger pieces of land. Merry Isthmus, son. Wow, thanks, Dan. I can't wait to open it. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, just what I wanted. Some dirt and land and stuff. All right. This bad boy is God Save the Burger King. This one will get you 10 grand. Eyes up front, we're moving. Imagine that Burger King opens a restaurant in Russia named after Russia's historical rulers. What will the new Russian burger? A burger on a Kaiser roll? Well, that's downright un-American. Oh, and uh, here's what you didn't pick. Before the Communist Revolution, the old rulers of Russia were called czars. Da, ну чего тебе надо еще? Hey, I'm talking to you. You want fries with that or what, comrade? Category, please. 
Well, now, what do we have here? Hey, you just picked a dis or dad. This dis or dad's category name is Robotic Reproductive Difficulties. All right, I'm going to read off seven different... Okay, fine. You know the rules. Here comes the monkey timer. Let's do it. R2-D2. RU-486. IUD. C-3PO. Deep Oval Barrel. Boba Fett. One more. No. That's all she wrote. Perfect. No time to spare. There you go. Yeah, that's got to be good, don't it? All right, let's move on. Okay, pick it. Now serving. It's more fun when someone loses an eye. How does $20,000 sound? Okay, now imagine you're at a hit happening party thrown by your school's science club. If during the party everybody's gonna play a game that displays centripetal force, what game should you expect to play? The force that keeps an object moving around a point is called centripetal force. And the force that's used after the bottle stops spinning is called suction. Ugh! What are you doing? Well, you look so cute today, I couldn't resist. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I need a category. Let's see what we got here. Smells like tea spirit. And you're playing for a $30,000 wad. Okay, so I went to the store the other day and I saw the weirdest thing. Rapper Ice Tea's come out with his own antiperspirant, Dry Ice Tea. If dry ice tea is made entirely of dry ice, what's the main ingredient in ice tea's fruit? <laughs> no, but if that stuff's made of nitroglycerin, you better watch out when you sneeze. <laughs> uh, in case you're wondering, Dry ice is composed of solid carbon dioxide. I need a category. Hey, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, it's my question. Here we go. These guys get to up, up, Oh man's morning memories. Keep scrolling up, getting back to the end, dude. Hey! Open wide and get ready for... I dread locks. 20,000 bucks for a correct answer. So, hey, Bob, what do you think of my new hairdo? Ooh, I'm not sure you're cut out for dreadlocks, old man. Why the change? Ah, you know, I want to get in the mood for the next question, man. Rastafari, hey, I read. <laughs> Whatever, go for it. Okie dokie, Rasta dude boy. Uh, hey, when you know the name of this musician, hit the buzzy thing and type in his name, okay? Here we go. He's a real famous player of the reggae music down in Jamaica, man. He sang that song. Make your move. Type in your answer and then hit return. Well, I didn't know from the flavin. I know somebody who should spend more time in the reggae section of the local record store. Uh-huh. The reggae star is Bob Marley. Yeah, I remember one time I saw him playing a gig. He asked me to give him a J, so I yelled, J! <laughs> he loved that audience participation stuff. Oh, I miss him. Rastafari. All righty, pick one. And here we have Betty by Time on Elm Street. I'm giving out 30 grand for a right answer. Okay, you all remember Freddy from the Nightmare on Elm Street movies? You know, the guy who haunts people in their dreams? Well, let's say he wants to become a rocker. <laughs> Given its name, which of the following musical acts would nightmarish <laughs> REM stands for rapid eye movement, the kind of sleep you have when you're dreaming. Um, Freddy, dude, that's like the fourth microphone you ruined this week. Um, can you be careful with those things? Sorry, Mr. Stipe. Category, please. And this is... This ain't no party. This ain't no disco. $10,000 for this one. Hey, remember that canceled show, Boston Common? If dissatisfied viewers protest the cancellation of Boston Common by recreating the Boston... 
The Boston Tea Party occurred when the colonists protested taxes by throwing a bunch of British tea into the harbor. Man, you should have seen what happened when there was talk of canceling the naked truth. Okay, pick a... You want the head rush? You got it. Heads up, here's your clue. Whose house are you watching? And I'll tell you what, right now the only thing you should be watching is the screen. Good luck! Congratulations, my friend. You made it through an entire game by yourself, and you came out on top. You know, not many people can say that, but yeah, they can. Oh, well. Thanks for playing. Bye. Nice job, people. Baby Diva, it's in your hands. Tell me, we doing another one right away? My, my, you got the highest score. Your name will be plastered up there for everyone to see forever. Or at least until the next person with half a brain plays the game. Are you that person? Let me know if you want to play again. <laughs>